guys, what is up? Welcome to Did A Day Ray with me, your girl Ray Ray. Hey, hi, how's it going? How you doing? I hope you are doing well. Today's video is going to be something that I have been wanting to do forever in a day and finally be able to take it out of my backdrop. I'm going to be finally using the Edible Art brand Decorative Cake Paint. I have not used this, I have not touched this. I ordered this from Amazon back in March. <laughs> it is now August and it has been sitting up here and um, I've been wanting to play with it and to use it. Like it's been sitting up there, I just shook it, but like they're all, I don't know how well you can see it, but they're like all separated. So I need to shake them up. It says shake, pour, and paint. Um, it says you can paint on fondant, macaroons, ganache, sugar cookies, and more. Um, it says invest in a good quality brush to avoid brush strokes and uneven painting. For best results, make sure your cake or cookie services are suitable for our paints. Um, shake, shake, shake before and during to avoid transparency. Paints are to have an opaque finish. Alternatively, we recommend taking the lid off and giving them a stir. This works best for, best for metallics, which we know using the, Wil the Wilton cake paint. Apply small amounts of paint to your brush. Less is more for best results. Thin coats are recommended. If washing your brush in between colors, make sure it is dry before applying more paint to it. And paints need to be air dried before consuming the finished cake or cookie. Drying times can be vary due to humidity, temperature, surface painted, and how paint is applied. Thin goats reduce drying time. So it says original colors are designed to paint on fondant roll icing, American buttercream crusted macarons and sugar cookies. Metallic colors are designed to paint on fondant ganache, American buttercream that is crusted macarons and sugar cookies. This is hashtag edible, edible art paint. And at sweetsticks dot I can put, I'll put all this down and I will also put it down in the description box. So these were actually very pricey. This whole kit I got at tax time because that's, there's actually two of them. There's actually another paint kit that I want to get, but they're like, I think I paid almost $70 for this. And I think when I did buy this, it was actually on sale and, um, or it was like an Amazon deal or whatever it was. Cause I did order these from Amazon. I will link them down below, but I will also link the website and any other information I can find down below in the description box. So down on my desk that you can't see it or my little table, I have two pieces of fondant. I have white fondant and I have black fondant. And what I want to do is I already sectioned it off into eight separate squares and I'm going to paint and see how they look on a darker fonder, fonder fondant versus a white fondant or a lighter fondant. Um, I figured because I paint a lot personally on white fondant. Um, now I did purchase the rolls because the other, so the other kit is all like golds. Um, and I know the rose gold is in that kit. So this is the rose gold that I purchased from Amazon. I just bought one bottle and I think like one bottle of this is $12. Now I'm not even going to lie. I used this on the rose gold wedding cake. I could put a picture here. I can also link it if you want to see the making of the rose gold and white wedding cake. But to be honest, I really didn't feel like I was that impressed with it. Like, and I think I even remember saying in that video, like I just didn't think that it was all that. And then some, especially for the price point that these are. Now I'm not gonna use this in this video because I have already used it on the cake. You can be your own judge. So I actually think that um, I did make a comment about this, but like I said, I'm not gonna use this in this video, I'm going to stick with the metallic cake paint colors. As you know, I am a big fan of the Wilton paint colors, um, the metallics. I even bought extra just to stock up on them just so I would have them, especially with the holidays and stuff coming around. So, um, so yeah, let me get set up and let's test these puppies out. Finally. <laughs> 
Okay, so I have my fondant here. Like I said, I have some white fondant and I have some black fondant. Now we're gonna go ahead and open these up. Open this package up. And there is the box. And then here are our colors. We have an ocean blue. I'm gonna shake them up. That looks super pretty. We have, this says green tea, metallic green tea. This is metallic banana yellow. Metallic mandarin orange. Metallic coral. Metallic hot pink. Fairy floss pink. And what I'm excited for is metallic charcoal. Okay, so I already shook up the ocean blue and I'm just gonna put a little bit here in the tray cause it said, I'm just literally doing a small drop. Maybe I'll do two drops. Okay. So, cause it literally just said to do a little bit. I have a brush. And I'm just gonna dab it very gently. Here's the color in the pan. And I'm just going to take, let's start with the black cause it's actually right here. And I'm going to paint just a little line here. So this is the ocean blue. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna paint this whole square because I think what I want to do is I'm going to do one coat and then I'm going to do half with two coats. So here is what we have with the black. I don't know, what do you guys think? So that is the black. I'm going to come over here now and I'm going to do one corner of the whites. Okay. And there it is on the white. It's not bad, I don't think. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the green, the color green tea a metallic green tea. Ooh, these bottles are very hard to squeeze, which I guess could be a good thing. Oh dear, that kind of leaked. Yes, Luna, or is that Callie? Okay, now I did wash my brush and I dried it really well. So, let's see. The cats are getting ready to fight. So let's do the green next to the blue. So right off the bat, I am not noticing much of a difference on the black. I mean, there's a little bit of a difference. Hmm. All right, let me do this on the white here. This is a very light, light green. It looks much darker than what I expected. Like, doesn't that look darker than how it's actually coming up? So that's interesting. So let me pick this up. And here is the green. So you definitely notice it on the white, obviously, but on the black, not so much. It just looks metallic on black, but of course on the white, you have the color. But this is why I did that, because if you do a darker fondant, are you gonna notice a difference? Okay, so moving on now to the banana yellow, I already went ahead and put some in my little handy dandy tray. My brush is dry. 
it is rinsed off. So let's go into this yellow. And I'm gonna do the yellow, of course. Now this one, ooh, wow. Now you can really see this yellow on the black. It is popping on this black. I like that. So let me do this. Okay, here's the yellow. I really like the yellow. Now you can tell kind of in person, they kind of look the same, but kind of on camera, you can kind of see a little difference. This one, it looks really good on the black. Like it, it kind of looks like a yellowish gold, but these two, actually, I think they just look the same. I swear that is the green, but you cannot tell. Now let's see how this white looks on did I just say how the white, how the yellow looks on the white? Okay. So here is the yellow on the white. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so next we're gonna go with the mandarin orange. Like I said, I already have some in my pan. It's easier to pour it with them um, open with the lid off. So my brush is nice and dry. All right, let's do this orange. Hmm. So already I'm noticing on the black, do I have, I think I have some on me. It looks very similar on the black to the yellow. I mean, you could tell, I think, that it's orange. But I'm not... Let me look at it closer here in a second in the light. And that's just one coat. And actually, let me just go ahead and do... Go ahead and add it up here. holding up the orange. I mean, you can definitely tell that that is orange. It's very similar to the yellow though, but I guess you can tell that is orange. Like in person, it's just very shiny with like a tint, if that makes any sense. I'm literally holding it right under the light, so hopefully you guys can see the difference. And then of course, here is the white and of course you can definitely see the color here okay the next color is metallic coral is what we're going to be trying okay we're gonna come down here let's get some on my brush let's see okay well this definitely has a change of color now, right now it is wet. So once it all dries, we'll see how it looks. I don't wanna to go too heavy on it, but I just wanted to finish. And then I'm just gonna go up here with some as well. Now this should dry pretty quickly because I do have my fan on. So, got a little piece of black fondant on there. Okay, so here we go. There's the coral. You can definitely tell it's like a peachy color. I feel like on the black, again, I don't know how well you guys can see it. I feel like this actually looks more orange than that. I don't know about you guys, what you think. Cause this kind of looks like a weird gold, kind of, sort of. But it is absolutely stunning on the white fondant. And as you can see, this blue is almost pretty much dry to the touch. There's still just a couple little wet spots. Next color is the metallic hot pink. 
All right. Let's get our paintbrush in here. Ooh. Now this is interesting. I can't see what you guys are seeing, but on the black, this hot pink looks purple, like hardcore purple. That's actually super pretty. Let me pick this up and show you. I'm not even gonna wait. Can you guys, look, that is hot pink on black. That looks, amazing it looks purple that's really cool all right let me do it on the white And that is the hot pink on the white. It looks so pretty on the black fondant. Okay, so next color is the metallic fairy floss pink. This is a very, very light pink. As you can see, it's right here in this tray. So let me go ahead and we'll go right to the black. Oops, I just stuck my finger in the coral. Ooh, so this is interesting. This looks, let me get a little bit more. It kind of looks white, like opal-y, like a nice opal color, if that makes any sense. All right, let me do the white. So I'm looking at it and I'm like, does it have pink in it? Is it pink? I'm not sure if that's pink. So let me hold this up for the camera for you guys so you guys can see. So here it is on the wink. That is on the wink. <laughs> this is it on the black. So this is, it looks like I said, it looks darker in the bottle and that's it in the tray. Let me hold this tray up. That's it right there. On the black, it kind of looks like an opal-y color, if that makes sense, but it does not have pink. It looks more like a lavender, because this is the hot pink on the black, and that is um, the the fairy floss, but it just looks like a white opal -y or a light lavender color. And then, like I said, on here, I put my finger right there, it's like white, like, it's just a like a little tint of pink. There's like hardly any pink in it. It's more like a, I don't know. I hopefully I really really hope you guys can see this. I don't know. I mean it, it's very pretty. I think that would be pretty like on a flower or something. And last but not least, we have charcoal. Now I'm actually excited for this color because Halloween is upon us, quickly approaching. So I'm hoping this is neat. Now again, interesting. This looks, well, it does say charcoal and I guess charcoal is kind of gray. So this just looks like a gray, smoky color. See, that just looks like a gray, a gray, smoky color. Now let's do it on the white. So let me put that in the thing. So there is the gray or the charcoal on the white. 
like I said, it is definitely gray. I like it. I thought I was hoping it would be darker because like I said, this is the bottle and it looks like midnight freaking black and it looks very dark. This is it in the tray. So, but then that is the color that you get. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let these dry a little bit. And when they're dry to the touch, like these are actually kind of dry. They're actually, no, they're not. As you see, my finger print is in there. But I'm gonna let these dry just for a little bit and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do half with two coats and see what happens. Okay, so I have the colors above their squares and below their squares. This of course is the white fondant where the colors are obviously you can tell. Now I did do two um, layers or two coats on one side. Um, I did it to my left and this side is one coat and I will slide these down and I will move this up for you to see a little better. Now it's still a little wet, but you can see the difference on some of them, like the coral. I like the green much better with uh, two coats. I'm sure if you kept adding coats, they would look much better. The orange, the pink even has like you can, this light pink actually seems like it's a little bit um, darker and you can actually see the hint of pink I should say and then the charcoal looks a lot darker as well it still is very much on the gray side but however it does look a little bit darker okay so here is the black piece of fondant with the colors above and below it um the green still you can't tell what color that is you can even with two layers you still cannot tell that that is green on black fondant. Um, you could definitely tell that that's blue. I love how this hot pink looks purple. Uh, the white or the pink still looks white a little bit. Um, let me hold this up for you guys so you guys can see it better. So this is the blue. This is, uh, you could tell this side is one coat, that side is two. This side is two coats, that side is one. Of course, that is two with the yellow, and that is one, and so forth and so on. Like I said, this hot pink on black looks amazing. It actually reminds me of the Jeffree Star color uh, Oral in a way, or um, the other purple that he has in his Jawbreaker palette. There is the charcoal on the black, and then that is the Fairy Floss pink one coat and two coats and then the coral one coat and two coats the orange looks pretty cool it now looks more orange than it did here but the green you don't even know that is green and like I said the blue has like a tint of blue I mean you could tell that it's blue but it looks a very light blue but like I said if you hold the bottle up to it it's a very dark blue looking but it's comes out very light blue all right guys so that is going to wrap up this video what do you guys think about this product do you think that you would be interested in buying this product and using it what did you think of the colors um do you think it's worth the price point now this is the thing these things cost off the top of my head i don't know but of course i will link all the prices down below i know one bottle is anywhere from nine to twelve dollars and for this whole set i believe it was like it was either 60 or 70 dollars for eight of these edible art metallic cake paints now for the set of four or five 
um, the Wilton metallic cake paint. I think it's only $10.99. And believe it or not, these are much runnier and um, the Wilton is much thicker. And um, if I had to choose, uh, I think I don't like, I don't know, like they have more of an, a range of colors. Like I love these metallic um, rainbow colors. They're very pastel. They're not like in your face colors, um, but I do like the Wilton metallics. They're more thicker and I don't like, I don't know. Um, I do feel like they're very expensive. Um, I thought that they were actually going to come out like the colors on the bottle, but they come out very light. I don't know how I feel about them. I will definitely use them. I do like them because y'all know me. I like my sparkly. I like my metallics. I like my shimmer, my glimmer, my all that. Um, so I will definitely use them. Um, I'm also wondering how they will look on their respective color fondant. So I wonder how the blue would actually look on blue fondant, how the green would look on green fondant, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I think those would be super pretty and really, really, really vibrant. Um, I guess just know that if you use it on white fondant, it's going to come out very pastel-y. If you use it on black fondant, it's definitely just going to be metallic and or white. I still love how the hot pink on the black came out. It looks purple. It's pretty badass. Um, that I think is my favorite one. But like I said, the green, you can't even tell that the green is green on black fondant versus the Wilton cake paint where you know that it's green and it will pop up. Um, so I don't know. I will definitely use them because I will not waste money. Um, like I said, I've had these since March. Um, there is a whole nother set that I wanted to try. I don't know if I'm going to get them though because like I said, they're very expensive and I, $30 maybe 40 but not 70 and some of them are even more expensive than that some of them are 80 dollars so and that's some of the metallic has like like three or four different gold silvers pearls and i think some other in the rose golds um and it's like another eight piece set i like the colors i like the rainbow colors i I'm not knocking it because it seems like a very good product, but I just feel like it's very expensive. And I feel like Wilton brand is thicker. The one thing I will give this brand though too is that this doesn't smell as bad as the Wilton ones. I know that's terrible, but Wilton's, even though they're thicker, I think they use more like an oily type or I don't know what they use, but it's a very thick, thick, cake paint and it I think they use confectioner's glaze in it and I think because this kind of also reminds me of like an airbrush I guarantee you if I put some of this in one of those little precision tip bottles with some vodka it would because it's very runny um but I don't know and the bottles are very hard and thick and the bottles are actually really hard to squeeze into my little trays um, I had when I took the seals off I just ended up pouring them because the bottles were very hard to squeeze too like I said I'm not knocking them I will definitely they already got my money when I purchased this I will use them we all know I will use my stuff um, I just feel like they're too expensive for what they are um, I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about it? Do you think you guys would try maybe buy one from Amazon or buy one from the website just to give it a try and see how you like it? If you do, of course, let me know down below. Comment. Um, but yeah, I'm going to wrap this up. Let me know what you guys think. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you. I appreciate y'all's life. And remember to always be kind because you don't know what kind of battle someone's going through. So don't be a dick. All right, guys, I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.